Welcome back to Night in the Woods. It looks like Mr. Chazakov isn't up there today, so I don't think we can do some stargazing, but there are a couple of things around town that I want to continue to check on, such as this dialogue. Hmm, I don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great-grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while. Erected 1910. Wow, okay. More history of Possum Springs, and we learned from the last one that he wasn't really that nice of a guy, but perhaps, um, look at the acorn. <laughs> oh, again, this game and its little details. But yeah, perhaps um, Arnold A. Applebaum's legacy lives on in the fact that he is providing housing to some of the people in this town, which I suppose is a good thing. Looks like there's nothing left on that screen, so let's head off this way and... Huh? This is new. Looks like there's been a couple of changes up there, but first... Harvest. It's today! It looks like, uh... Nothing else is different. That ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harvest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harvest tonight. Fine then. I'll just send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Hmm. It seems that they are not getting along. They are not agreeing on some things now. Huh. I really do love seeing everything there is to see in this game and just keeping up to date with all the different stories that are happening. Hello. Again, I just love the subtle changes in the town. Every day, something is just a little bit different. It honestly feels like the background is more detailed now. Maybe I'm just paying more attention to it, but I feel like I can see more in the background of this game as time goes on. Hey, Laurie. You hype for Harvest? Uh, Harvest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow. You have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? <laughs> wow. Both of these apply to me. Ruining my life. Oh. Sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine. Just a thing that happened. Oh, right. Thing. Yep. That's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Later. Hmm, yeah, we learned about that from Laurie previously, the killer thing, the, the incident. So, looks like we can't actually go in the old pickaxe today. I guess because Harfest is happening. Oh, everything is so great and Harfesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the half festy air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Yeah, we're gonna wander around and we're gonna see everything there is to see, of course. Because that's how I play this game. But yeah, this game has referenced half est and it's also referenced The Longest Night, which I guess refers to the Equinox. So the holidays that they celebrate here in Possum Springs are, I guess, a little bit more pagan, a little bit more to do with cycles of nature and stuff, which is interesting. And I think quite fitting for the game. Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can't you tell? Do your spooky face. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. 
God, I love Angus. It's so weird that there are so many characters in this game that you can talk to multiple times and get quite a lot of dialogue out of. And Angus, though he appears to be like a major character in this game, being in a relationship with Greg, and B seems to really like him and respect him, but he's very closed. You don't get to talk to him a lot. But again, I like that. It just adds to the depth of these characters. You going to Harfest? No, gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come out? It might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? No, never. Come on out to Harvest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go Smelters. Go Smelters. Oh, good. That's good for you. We'll come back to the Snack Falcon later, of course, because I feel like uh, it's one of the more important places in town. I wonder what Greg's got to say about Halloween or Harfest. And what's out here at the Food Donkey? Is Germ out here today? Well, he is. These must be... Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Dawn. And I'm Jem. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Hey Jem, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the pate. I mean, you all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man. Local legend. My man, Tapeworm. Out of Bright Harbor. He told me he never got off in this town. Because of the ghost. Oh, that's a load of crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Damn it, old time. We're as pure as the air. Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same little lady. See you, Jem. See ya. Well, we can still talk more. Ah. So these must be the uh, the people who came in off the train. The travelers. We'll see what relevance they have to the story as time goes on, because I'm sure they will. Honestly, I think that's pretty much it. I think we need to go out to the church and see what's going on there, but I don't know if... I don't know if I want to go and talk to Mum quite yet after... The conversation that we had previously. And we also need to head down here and see what's down here today. See if we can get a pretzel for our rats. Hello. Where is everybody? What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. Okay, good talk. I wonder if uh, the lady is here again today. We can talk about Grandad? No. I really do like, though, that things are different on the daily. Like, you can't talk to this lady every day. You can't talk to Mr. Chazakov every day. All right, here we go with this. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Don't mind me. Just committing crimes. Getting the hang of this. That's not so bad. Stressful, but not too difficult. Alright, let's go see our rats then. Don't know what the end goal of rat feeding is, but I'm sure we'll find out again. So far, this game hasn't been too heavy on the overarching narrative, but I've just really been enjoying exploring the world and getting to know the characters and such. So I don't really feel the need to speed through this game and to, to find the end of the story because I don't think that's what this game is about. All right, my little miracle rats, it's time to eat. That's one already. That's two, and that's three. Oh, there's more of you today. 
You need more food. Yes, you do. All right, we'll keep checking in on that. See what changes. I hope I didn't start doing that too late to get um, to get anything out of it. Because I don't know how long this game is, and I don't know how many days you need to do these certain things for in order to get the full experience. But uh, I suppose that's something that benefits this game in terms of replay value. Playing through once again and making different choices and doing things more effectively. And, uh... Hey, Pastor K. Reef some fire already, dude. I don't know. I'm not sure what that was about. Hey, Pastor K. Howdy. You aiming for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. Uh, date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. You were meeting with them at the statue of Saint... Rubello. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Who, like, ate people? It's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Poor guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from St. Rubello? Breathe fire. Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. How's the situation? Situation? With Bruce and stuff. <sighs> we wait and see. And pray. Hmm. It's really interesting. A lot of the things in this game are changing and moving in certain directions, and this one particular thing isn't getting anywhere. Hey, Bruce. You gonna go down to half tonight? You know, maybe. Look to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. Well, we'll see, I suppose. I really like how Bruce... He does that thing with his eyes that he just kind of looks from side to side briefly, like he's kind of paranoid about something. There's clearly a lot more to him than we know. He's got a lot going on. There's certainly some kind of story to be had there. Hello. New people. And music. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? Shipwreck? A ghost on a hill. An arrow, broken. Broken? Really? I, um... <laughs> You're all like 14 year old goths, why am I answering this? What have we seen? We've seen a shipwreck. Because we saw that right at the beginning of the game in the park. On my way into town, in the playground, this old ship. How did you... You have answered well. We will peer into your future. And give you what help we can. In the coming dark. What, daylight savings time ending? Relevant. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Do you, like, practice that talking intern thing? Tell us first. What is God? In this place. Wow, um... Is it... Caring but absent? Uncaring but distant? Vicious and roaming? Can we go with nice and helpful? Okay, fine. God. Hmm. Certainly feels like uncaring and distant if we take the Bruce situation into account. I can see it. On a distant shore. Beneath the stars. Okay. We see something. In your future. We know. We know. 
We know. Okay, already, jeez. You will swim out to sea. And meet it. On a distant shore. We're like six hours from the ocean. You guys are bad at this. Let's try something easier. What am I gonna have for dinner tonight? Don't know, don't care. I want tacos. We'll have them soon. We'll all have tacos soon. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going. Stop. You see the mystical symbol? Etched upon the sacred rock. The pentagram you guys drew? The spooky pentagram you teens drew? Shut up, it's full of mystical shit. Okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice. And it shall find you. In the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna head out. You guys are adorable. And weird, but the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We don't care or anything. But like... Dude. Alright, alright, I'll keep an eye out. For pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. Haha, <laughs> you guys broke your speaking order. Um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, weird goth teens. You're not gonna knock on us to the pastor, right? But being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Cool. Three weird teens I met. Yep, you certainly are weird. Well, I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for pentagrams. That's funny, because I think when we talked to Germ, one of his little emote bubbles was a pentagram. Alright then, let's bounce on over and check out the last little bit of town, and then I think we can go to Harfest. Interested to see what Harfest is, what it means to this town. I remember celebrating Harvest Festivals as a kid, but it was very much a Christian thing, um, because the school that I went to when I was a kid was kind of a Christian school with like singing hymns and celebrating Christian festivals and stuff, and though I'm not a Christian, that was just kind of what we did at school, I guess. Oh, hey. Hey, on, more cop. More cops don't carry guns, mate. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Walking off the road. Okay, wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Hmm. Hmm. Social commentary. These two again. Nothing to say to them. I think that's about it then. Oh, we need to go see Greg. I left it till last, as I always do. And we can talk to Laurie again. No, we can't talk to Laurie again. Never mind. Hello. Hey, man. How's things? Good. half fresh rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrid. Getting horrid at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job. Ugh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these here light bulbs. All by myself. So what's up? Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Ooh, is this gonna be a choice between going to Harfest with B and smashing stuff with Greg? Because I think I'd rather go to Harfest, but... Let's see. Hell yeah, dude. No, I guess we're smashing stuff. All right. Cool, smashing stuff. Oh. Nice. Boom. You know what? We'll spend more time with Greg, it's fine. Gotcha. Bam. Really interesting to see the, um, the, wow, that one went too far. <laughs> the graffiti on this, um, oh, that's a, that's a can. Oh, jeez. Greg, rude. But yeah, the graffiti on this thing, um, no pizza forever future. 
future being crossed out. Ouch! Ow, what the F? Gotcha. Alright, I'm ready for the can this time. I did the math. No can this time? You really overshot that one. Jeez, mate. Maybe I need to be a little closer. Ow, that's a bottle! Come on, Greg! Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Before I lose an eye. That was cheap. Okay, that didn't take up the whole day. Cool. Greg rules, okay. So, what's up? Nothing. That's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Should have expected that. Alright, let's do Harfest then. I think May said we need to go home in order to prepare for Harfest. And to my understanding, it's a play, I guess? And I wonder, because they've really painted the Harfest celebration and festival as kind of a childish thing. We've really not seen many actual children in this game. We've seen, like, the three children uh, that we saw in, like, the very first video that we talked to. Um, but since then, we've really seen them running around a couple of times, but that's it. The youngest person that we regularly interact with is Laurie, I think. So it'd be interesting to see if there are, like, actual children uh, at this play, since it is like a childish kind of thing. Hmm, mom's not here. What's this? A can of something? That's not there before. I didn't actually go in the church to talk to mum, but I don't think I want to, and I don't think there's anybody else there, given uh, what we know right now, but... Let's, uh, let's check the internet. Let's see if B's got anything to say. Nope, nothing. Okay, well, it looks like we can interact with the mirror here. Ah, yeah. Normal clothes. Ah, oh, yeah, time to get spooky. That is amazing. Sweet. Witch dagger. I love this so much. I love this so much. And it's now nighttime. No messages. All right. Let's go half -est. Hello. It must already be out. half -est. Ooh. Banging music. Half -est and Halloween. This is the first time we've been out at night, which is cool. Also, we can't jump right now. I guess our mobility is limited by our outfit, so we can't actually go there and talk to those people up there. But these two people are here. I wonder if these people would have been here if I hadn't talked to them. Splash them, Fortune, looks like they've got games. Everyone's dressed up. Got a marching band. So yeah, we talked to a few different people about Harfest. I wonder if... They show up here because I talked to them, and they wouldn't if I didn't. Can we go off this way? No. Okay. So it looks like pretty much the things to do would be go in the old pickaxe and see the play, and engage with these activities here. So let's do that first. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to half Spectacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do. Or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's you. You hit the spooky ghost. Whoop. Getcha. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Gonna haunt you for that. I'm extremely cold and wet. Ah. Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Oh, you move in a kind of way. I saw that pun. I saw that pun. Going for the high school, you gotta believe it.
This guy's hard to hit. Really, really got to lead your target. There we go. You got me. The pumpkin wet. I certainly did, buddy. Ouch, that one hurt me. The pumpkin. I'm freezing now. The pumpkin is freezing. You are also fast. Aha, gotcha. What's my reward for this? I want to know. Ooh. Two points. Oh man, I skipped that because I was pressing the button. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs? More like. Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs! Okay, we're done. Amazing. All right, let's do fortune. Yeah, you spin the wheel of destiny. Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. A snap. Is he going to say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Spin the wheel. A mighty spin, a commendable spin. Your fortune is your future, a place you will soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall know many troubles, even until the end of your days. Oh. Yep. I feel like that's just everyone's life. Everyone's got problems. How is this a fortune? The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right, then. This music is fantastic, by the way. I'm digging it. Well. Well, let's go to see the play. I don't think there's anything else left for us to do here. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously. We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. All right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? General Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please. It's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your huss. I might have memorized this from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but it gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. Me. Please don't wing it. Okay. Oh boy. This is gonna be a thing. We're winging it. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts. Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? 
Through the mists of time I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with uh, which a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Ho travelers, spare a crest of bread for a needy woman. Haggard witch, horrible to look upon. Pretty young man, ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones? I shall curse ye, and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful, said he brother Stephen. I did not venture into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. <laughs> I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveller? Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yup. Ah, which? Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone, did curse my brother and I to die. Zwounds. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> I did curse this spring, that any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Ah, I am slain. I join thee now, brother Stephen. Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accursing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all those who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Uh, um... Or or what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full? And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? You, from the bus station. Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So... Which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. O oh God, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. 
but that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh! Take care. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I may a ghost decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. <laughs> Actually, the myth that the Wicked Witch is the product of centuries of persecution by... And that's our show. Be careful as long as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your local spooky businesses. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. This is garbage. What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. <sighs> Where the hell did he go? Shit. May, go home. There's a guy up in the hill. He saw some kid? He, he looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Wow. Okay, the game got spooky real quick. Where are we? I guess we're in the woods. Yeah, so that half S play, particularly once the maintenance guy from the bus station turned up, that was one big metaphor, huh? Is this? I can't actually do anything here. Was that a dream?
Part 3. The Long Fall. Well, things just got serious, I think. Ooh, okay. I'm going to have to take some time to think about all of that. This game continues to impress me in so many ways, though. I'm having a fantastic time playing it. As always, your feedback and advice is greatly appreciated. Today's question of the day. Do you have a favorite holiday of the year? Personally, I don't actually celebrate any holidays. Um, I'm not really a fan of how commercial things like Christmas and Halloween get. They kind of lose the actual meaning in all of the the money flying around the place, so I kind of don't celebrate those holidays, but I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people can still enjoy them for what they are, and having time to spend with your friends and family can always be something that people appreciate about those kinds of holidays. So uh, let me know what you think. I look forward to reading your responses, and until the next part, thanks for watching, and take care.